We are on our way to Zion National Park this morning. We spent one day in Park City and then we headed down to our cabin yesterday. It is really cold this morning. I think it's a little bit below freezing, but it's supposed to be a beautiful day in Zion. Should be like 68 degrees and sunny. So we are about to hit the road and we are so excited to be there. Skylar and I are hiking the Upper Emerald Poles Trail right now. It's a little past noon, it's getting pretty warm, but the views are amazing. Check this out. So down there was one of the first poles. It's pretty warm for October, but it's honestly much better weather than I was expecting. I think it may snow tomorrow, so we're getting really, really lucky today. Oh. What's that? Yeah, I literally just cut the cross. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna go this way. Skylar's taking a shortcut. There he is. <laughs> we are having a little lunch break, sitting on a really cute log and overlooking this. So we did a couple hikes and now we are walking out towards the Narrows. We're not going to actually hike it, but I just wanted to see what it would look like. And it is so pretty. I think this is my favorite part of the park. We're driving out of Zion now. We had an amazing day in the park. It was so beautiful. We're driving out through the Mount Carmel Scenic Highway, I think it's called. I think this part of the park is just as amazing. It's really beautiful. Just the rock formations out here are insane. So we 
did quite a few trails today. We did the Upper Emeralds Trail. We did the Grotto. We did one, I'm not sure how you say it. I think it's called the Cayenta Trail. I'm honestly not even sure what all we did. We got like halfway up to Scout's Overlook and it was honestly way too busy. It felt really sketchy. There was like kids everywhere and like runners running past with like steep drop-offs and I was not about it. So we got like most of the way up and then we bailed. So that was kind of disappointing. But otherwise, I think we had a really awesome time. Zion is really beautiful. I think it is worth it, but I do think it is extremely, extremely busy. So I would definitely plan for that. Um, I would get here extremely early and just plan for crowds no matter what. It has snowed overnight. It is so gorgeous outside. Um, so we're actually gonna go outside and go for a little winter walk. We are trying to make it to Bryce Canyon today. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen just because we don't really have a vehicle equipped to deal with the snow, um, but we're gonna find out. It's a very cozy morning here in the cabin. It is very cold. I know. Look. God, the car is so muddy. <laughs> We're driving into Bryce Canyon National Park. It is snowing right now. It's like 33 degrees. And the contrast between the snow and the red rocks is so beautiful. Oh, visitor center to the right. Okay, you want to go there? Yeah, I want to use the bathroom. And I We just stopped at the visitor center here in Bryce Canyon. I got a really cute t-shirt. Can't really see it. That's what it looks like. And then I got these really cute postcards. Got a Zion one, this one, and then this one as well. So now we're just kind of driving through the park. I'm not sure if we're going to do any hikes. I think we're just gonna kind of drive through and see what looks cool, pull over if we want, do the hikes if we want. We're just kind of um, taking it as it comes. Yesterday, but it was 
honestly so cold, so windy, so we decided to save it to today since it's so sunny outside. I also really wanted to do the Peekaboo Trail, but unfortunately it's closed right now. Looks like they got a lot of rain and it kind of washed the trail out. So it's going to be pretty warm and sunny today, so I'm pretty confident that we're going to have some really good hikes. So we're going to do this trail right here, the Navajo Loop. And then we're going to do the Fairyland Loop, which is kind of all of this. I think it's roughly about 8 miles or so. We're about to go through an arch that's on the trail. It's very icy, very muddy, very nasty. And I left my hiking poles in the car. Here is the arch. And there's rocks falling. What is it called? The, the, the hoodoos? Hoodoo. Wow. You have dirt on your butt from sliding. <laughs> I think you do too, actually. Oh, I don't care. Oh, well, I did what had to be done.
10 out of 10. What is this? A, an 11, yeah. <laughs> wow. The trail is getting pretty trafficked now, so a lot of this ice and slush is starting to go away, and so it's mostly like dirt and mud now. Also, this elevation is a lot for someone who comes from sea level, so I'm definitely not feeling, uh, not feeling as like strong and capable as I usually am when I go on hikes. I mostly feel out of breath. <laughs> All done with our hike we hiked Navajo Trail we saw Wall Street it was amazing I don't think there was a bad view on that trail it's only 1.3 miles so I think it's super doable there is a lot of up and down so the elevation is a little tough but honestly I think it's a trail that the majority of people could do but that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one